It's time to upgrade your Spider-Man cosplay with these awesome 3D printed web shooters. Let's get printing. Hi, Tracy here from Astrocyte Cosplay. In this video, I'll be showing you how to 3D print your very own Spider-Man web shooters. We'll be going over print orientation, then on to prep and painting. But firstly, let's jump over to the computer. So this was the Spider-Man Homecoming web shooter STL file that I found on Thingiverse by ArchGuy1. It does come with the three different parts that connect together um, with these sections here. The detail is pretty great. Um, this is a bit of a reference photo as a comparison to the movie, which I thought was pretty good. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to get this file for yourself. So jumping into Curia, let's have a look at the orientation that I did on each of the pieces. This is the main section. There wasn't a big flat section or anything for great support on the bottom. So I did use a raft and then did supports everywhere. And it put this support here in plus one in the back there, the small one. Printed on this angle as I wanted to make sure that I kept most of the detail in the top section. Looking at the second side, this was a bit simpler as it did have a flat base. It still used a raft but only had these little supports here just supporting the connectors that connect each half together and this printed fairly well with the detail in the back. Looking at the final section which is just the little arm that goes into your palm of the hand this was probably the hardest section as it didn't have an obvious flat spot to support to the bed so I did need to use a raft and put quite a few supports in. I printed it on the side as I wanted to try and keep some strength into this bit as if it's going into your palm it's likely to bend slightly so I just didn't want that to snap where the layer lines might be. This was the only one that I had problems with the supports in as I actually didn't support this enough in this corner here and it did actually split off and didn't support right. So just be careful where you place your supports and make sure that you've got it all in there enough. Question for cosplayers, what's your number one tip for print orientation? Leave a comment below. With all parts hot off the printer, I was really happy with the detail in these web shooters. Now on to sanding, I'm just using some low grit sandpaper to knock down some of those initial layer lines. I'm then hitting it with some primer filler. This really helps to fill in those layer lines but also show you where those lines are in the next stage of sanding. So on to sanding here, um, just going up in the grits of sandpaper as required. And then we're just going to use some wood filler here just to fill in some of the bigger imperfections. And I also did some on the inside as I was a bit worried with this catching on the suit. So we're just going to hit it with some flat grey primer just to get it ready for paint. Next I'm just doing a gloss black coat. And then we're using this Kryolan metallic paint pen. Uh, first time trying out the pen and it went out pretty well. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful with the amount that's coming out. Now just giving it a clear coat to protect that paint. Now for some final touches, I'm just adding a little bit of an elastic into the inside as they're a little bit difficult to clip in by yourself so hoping the elastic will help you be able to just slide over your hand and help that process a little bit. So you can see here just on both sides on the inside. And just adding that final web shooter part. And there we are, they've done. I really love the detail in this design. They are a little bit difficult to clip together with the way that they're made, but they add some amazing detail to the suit and they'll be great for photo shoots. Now you've got your web shooters sorted, make sure you check out this video for our review of the Zentai Zone Spider-Man Homecoming cosplay suit. I'll see you over there. 